Hey guys, um, I wanted to do a video today about the syndicated episodes of Rescue 911. Um, some of you may have seen me comment that Rescue 911 has been available for streaming on Pluto TV um, since fall of 2020, but unfortunately the episodes on Pluto are the syndicated episodes. And some people have asked, um, you know, what's a syndicated episode? Why are they unfortunate? Um, so in this video, I want to explain what the syndicated episodes are and why they're unfortunate. Um, spoiler alert, the main reason they're unfortunate is because they're edited for running time. Later in the video, I'll show you some examples of things that were cut out of syndicated episodes. But first, let me back up and explain the difference between the original CBS episodes and the syndicated episodes. Um, so for those of you who didn't watch Rescue 911 back in the 90s, or just didn't exist back in the 90s, um, it was a television program that originally aired on CBS for seven seasons from 1989 to 1996. And the original episodes that aired on CBS were normally an hour long and contained between three and five different stories of rescues. Um, in 1993, though, Rescue 911 started airing in off-network syndication. Um, what syndication means is when a show like airs in reruns on a different channel than it originally aired. So the syndicated version was reformatted into like a 30-minute version. So the syndicated episodes are a half hour long and contain two stories or sometimes one long-running story. So just to give you um, a couple of examples of original episodes, um, Season 3, Episode 5 consisted of four segments, Carriage Mishap, 911 Stalker Save, Freeway the Fawn, and Garage Door Kid. And Season 3, Episode 14 consisted of three segments, um, Aryan Rough River, Stop Drop 2, and Bootless Hero. And now here's an example of a 30-minute syndicated episode. On 911, a runaway horse takes a man for a deadly ride. The electric fence was there. Every time the fighter went into the fence, he got even more out of control. I was scared to death. Then, tragedy strikes when an 11-year-old boy is engulfed in flames. He had a polyester sweatshirt on. It just uh, keeps burning and melts as it burns. He probably wasn't going to make it. On the next Rescue 911. So you can see that what they did here was they just took um, two segments from two different original CBS episodes and paired them together to make a 30-minute episode. And in all, there were 300 syndicated episodes that were produced. All right, so now that I've explained what the syndicated episodes are, let me explain to you why the original CBS episodes are better. First, the syndicated episodes don't cover the entire series. There are a lot of segments missing. Two, the syndicated episodes are sometimes split up into two-parters, which can get annoying when networks show the episodes out of order. And three, the syndicated episodes are cut. They're edited for running time. So if I did my math right, I believe there were 671 total segments that aired on CBS over the seven-year run, but only 577 segments were put into syndication. So if you had the entire collection of 300 syndicated episodes, um, you would still be missing 94 segments. The syndicated episodes only contain segments from seasons one through six, so you would be missing the entire seventh season, um, which I believe is... 57 segments, and that includes most of the missing segments that I did a previous video on. Also, I think there were 37 other segments from earlier seasons that were never put into syndication, so you would be missing out on all of those as well. And then reason number two, syndicated episodes were split up into two-parters, which was never done on the original CBS episodes. You hit them. This got annoying, especially networks like Discovery Health Channel would show the episodes out of order, so you would see part one, and then they would show a completely different episode, and you didn't get to see part two. And then there's this one segment, uh, 911 Placenta Previa, that was split up into a two-parter in syndication. And back in the early 2000s, Odyssey, which is now the Hallmark Channel, 
they would show part one, but they didn't have part two. Tomorrow, when we continue. And then nowadays, um, networks that are showing the syndicated version, they have part two of Placenta Previa, but they don't have part one. So if you had the original CBS episodes, you wouldn't have that problem because they're all self-contained. So the third and most important reason that the syndicated episodes are inferior is that they've been edited for running time. And sometimes, you know, it was just inconsequential stuff that got cut out that didn't really make that much of a difference. But other times they cut out some kind of important stuff that really affected the quality of the segment. Um, so I'm going to show you a few examples now of things that were cut out. The first example I want to show you is from the segment Stop Drop 2. Um, the way they edited that one in syndication didn't end up making a whole lot of sense. Um, so let me show you what I'm talking about. In case you haven't seen this one before, it's about some kids who are having a water gun fight outside, and then they decide they want to set a fire. So first, let's watch the syndicated version. Actually, I didn't think much of what was going to happen. We just started putting little sticks, pine cones, leaves, all sorts of stuff. Layton thought of the gasoline. So the way that was cut together, it didn't make a whole lot of sense because we didn't see them set the first fire. So it kind of looked like the gas can exploded for no apparent reason. So now let's back that up and watch the uncut version. Layton thought of the gasoline. Not too many. Don't worry, she won't be back for a while. I was like, well, maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't. I didn't think anything like real serious would happen because he was using just a little amount of gasoline. We're getting in trouble. Don't worry about it. Say so. Say so, but I ain't getting busted for it. The flames would get maybe one to one and a half feet high. Uh, we'd step on it or put it out or flip it over so no one would get hurt. I um, just thought it was kind of fun because we just put the fire up. And then he said, well, this isn't enough gasoline that I just not spilling up at all. Well, here's a bigger one. Put the fire back. That's it. Okay, so you can see that the original version makes a whole lot more sense because it showed them set the first fire. So the way they edited that in syndication, it actually kind of undermines the lesson of the segment because, you know, they're trying to teach you that you may think that you've put a fire out, but all it takes is one spark to cause an explosion. So I think that the original version does a much better job at illustrating that point. Um, moving on, though, not all of the syndicated episodes have, like, a big solid chunk cut out. Um, other times it's just a few seconds that are cut out here and there, and then by the end of the segment it adds up to about two minutes of cuts. So an example of that that I want to show you is from 911 Arm Save. She was bleeding to death. The right arm was cut to the bone. And it was cut so severely, there was no way you could even hold the arm together. Okay, ma'am, what you need to do is put a clean towel around it and hold direct pressure on it. Okay? Okay. Where's it cut at? In the... In the what? Right by the elbow. Right at the elbow? Yeah, it's almost... It's almost silver. Medical aid. Lacerated arm. 
801. From the nearest fire station, paramedic Rick Linsky and his partner responded. We got the dispatch as a laceration of the arm. We were probably out of the station within 20 seconds. We've already got the paramedics in route. Are you there alone with her? Are they on their way? Yes, they're on their way. Are you are you alone with her, ma'am? Are you alone with her? No, my husband. My husband. And she kept telling my husband, uh, Grandpa, I'm going to die, and she knew it. But it was hard. Does, does he have a towel on her arm right now? No, no, no she's all but the blood is spreading up. It's, it's, where is it coming out of? The elbow section? No. Okay. Oh, God, please hurry. The people next door came running over, and they came and they got the towels, and they said, hold a towel, you know, wrapped around her like, like, like a tourniquet. And that still, that still didn't even help. The blood was still gushing out. Ma'am? It was unbelievable. What? What? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening there? Oh, I don't know. Oh, God. Who's screaming? We have to get a towel. Ma'am, tell her to raise her arm up. Oh, God, lay her down. Tell her. Oh. Lay her down and raise her arm up. Have her sit down and raise her arm up. Where are they? My, where are they? They're on the way, ma'am. They've already been dispatched. What else can we do? Okay, is it still, is the blood still spurting She's out? on the floor. Is that her? What? Is that her screaming? Yes. Okay, and she's on the floor right now? Yeah, she's on the floor. We have what we call a trauma score. Certain information we have to give to the hospital so that they can make a determination on which hospital she goes to and what type of treatment she's going to she's gonna require. Her respiratory rate is 20, okay? Her verbal response is confused, all right? And her motor response will be okay? She had to be scared to death. This girl thought her arms were cut off. I mean, she thought they were completely gone. <laughs> very concerned in the back of the ambulance if her arms were still attached. And several times, I, what I did is I'd have her actually look down at her arm, and I'd tell her to move her fingers, and she'd look down and she'd see her hand moving. But she, she wasn't getting the feeling that she was moving her hands. It was like they weren't there. So yeah, with Arm Save, I remember seeing the syndicated version first, actually, and then later I saw the CBS version, and I was like, whoa, that's kind of intense compared to the syndicated version. And now the last one I want to show you is the most egregious cut of all. I was not about to do that. I was not going to sit in a hospital emergency room with 10 pounds of plaster for who knows how long. Not now, I'm over at What about the dentist? They've got to have some kind of small tools or something you could use. The dentist's office. This was a little less embarrassment than a hospital. Smaller office, less people, this is okay. How do you cut that out? That is like the best part of the segment. Like, of anything you could cut out. Why that? Oh, oh, Eric, right. right. I was very conscious of the patients that are sitting in the lobby there. Oh, what happened? So I was like, oh, I'm glad this is on my face. At least I can't see them and they can't see my face. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully now you agree that the original CBS episodes should be made available for streaming. If you're a fan of Unsolved Mysteries, you may remember that the first time they released that on streaming, it was the reformatted version hosted by Dennis Farina, and then the fans had a fit on social media because they wanted the original Robert Stack episodes, and then lo and behold, the original Robert Stack episodes came to streaming. Um, so we should do something like that with Rescue 911. The problem is Unsolved Mysteries has official social media pages that are moderated by people who are officially involved with the show. Rescue 911, unfortunately, doesn't have anything like that. Um, there's a Facebook page, but it's just a fan page. Like, nobody who's actually affiliated with the show or with the network manages that. So it's kind of hard to actually get onto anybody's radar who has any official say on whether Rescue 911 comes to streaming and which episodes are put on there. So the only thing I can think to do would be to write to Pluto TV or whatever other service happens to be streaming it in the future and tell them you want to see the original hour-long CBS episodes and not the 30-minute syndicated episodes. And I'll try to keep this video's description updated with links of who you can write to, if anyone, to request the original episodes. 
Now, I understand why, you know, when a TV station shows it, they have to show the syndicated episodes. Like, back in the early 90s, an hour-long program was about 48 minutes without commercials, and nowadays I think they're about 42 minutes. So, if you wanted to show an hour-long Rescue 911 on TV, you'd have to cut about six minutes out of it to make it fit. But the syndicated episodes are already cut down to 22 minutes, which I think is what a 30-minute episode is today without commercials. So it's a lot easier for, you know, a TV network to show two 30-minute episodes instead of one hour-long one. But when it comes to streaming, there's no reason they can't have the original hour-long episodes because the time slot is not a factor. So hopefully you'll join me in harassing whoever happens to be streaming it and requesting the original hour-long episodes instead of the syndicated episodes. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and see you later.